20 years after the launch of the modern Mini, the fourth Mini generation is at its best, with an intensive update for the Mini 3 door, the Mini 5 door and the Mini convertible. Hello everybody, my name is Oliver Halmer, I'm head of Mini Design and I would like to introduce you the complete makeover of our new Mini. And first of all, my personal highlight, we call it multi-tone roof. And it's a transition from a dark blue to a lighter blue into black. Something really iconic and outstanding. But I would like to show you all our design highlights, uh, which we do have in our new model. And first of all, I would like to start with the front. The front, as you can see, reduced the amount of parts. We cleaned up as uh, far as possible and we emphasized this area around the hexagonal grill. And that's what you see. The grill is bigger than before, but this let us the space um, to implement body color within the grill, which gives us more value and more modernity. In the lower area of the grill, and that's the Cooper S. You see the air inlets for the brakes, which is held in black high gloss. And something that is important for aerodynamic reasons, we do have a air curtain. So the air is running through and coming out in front of the wheel. Let's have a closer look to the rear. And in the rear as well, we try to reduce as much as possible. You see, the focus of the bumper face is in the lower area, a really sporty touch, so to say. We do have an insert in body color, as you have seen it uh, uh, right in the front. And this gesture here, what you read there, emphasizes our double exhaust pipes. Coming to the side brings me to another highlight, the wheel design. As you see, the shape is pretty much classical. You see it's a seven spoke wheel, but we refined it through a milling process, as you can see here. So the milled surfaces are high gloss silver with a beautiful contrast to the rest of the wheel in black. And you see this transition from thick to thinner um, gives us the impression that the wheel has a certain dynamic already when it's standing still. And the body side, you see, we kept our famous side scuttle, where you see the engine, which is in the Mini, but as well the blinker. And this is in LED technology now. Have a closer look into the interior. And first of all, you see this little badge. This badge shows that we do have Mini Euros interior trim. And at first glance, you see it's a Mini typical interior and we um, took a lot of attention into refining every little detail. First of all, you see that the core elements are entirely new. Um, we reduced the amount of switches and button in the center icon, so there's just one flat surface. And something that is really um, nice from my perspective is that we do have now a, a totally new look and feel um, in our interface. And this shows the next step in terms of digital approach for a Mini. And as we all know, Mini is for driving. And therefore, we took a lot of attention into the steering wheel and the buttons. They are now in black high gloss, flat and pretty modern. So these were the design highlights of our new Mini. And as you can see, now, more than ever, it's worth taking a closer look. Thank you. I'm very pleased to see the results of our work come together nicely in the new Mini. The increased product substance can be felt and seen everywhere in the interior. The new driver assistance and comfort features make this car my favorite. I only highlight a few aspects now. Let's start with the updated 8.8-inch center instrument, which is surrounded by laser-engraved LED ring. The operating system now features live widgets, which can be accessed with a swipe on the touchscreen. To me, this looks far more striking, but is something you will need to experience live once you get your hands on a new Mini. Then there is the enhanced and more functional sport leather steering wheel, which comes standard now. 
And while we are updating the steering wheel, we decided to upgrade it. It can be heated now at the touch of a button. I really like. For all of you who like to express yourself through color, we've got you covered. The new launch and sports presettings color match the interior of the new Mini, all the way from the digital cockpit to the central instruments, interior surfaces and door panels. Good news, the LED headlights come as standard now and we have dechromed the inner housing of them. A new feature is the bad weather light, which is activated at the touch of a button and which replaces the fog lights. The Union Jack tail lights are also part of the standard equipment. We've slightly darkened the lens. Two new safety features complement the driver assistance package. The lane departure warning is designed to help the driver keep the car in their lane. If the system detects that the car is straying out of its lane, it will vibrate the steering wheel, notifying the driver that steering correction is necessary. The active cruise control with stop and go function not only maintains the desired distance to the vehicle in front, it also slows the car to a standstill. A short actuation of the accelerator pedal is then sufficient to start again from the stand. Our internal combustion engine portfolio ranges from 75 horsepower, the Mini 1 first up, to the Mini John Cooper works with 231 horsepower. All engines meet the Euro 60 emission standard. The fully electric Mini Cooper SE offers 184 horsepower while emitting zero emissions. With our new adaptive suspension, we are able to achieve a good balance between sportiness and comfort through the use of continuously frequency selective damping. This significantly increases the driving comfort when compensating for light road bumps while maintaining the sporty characteristics of a Mini.